Hello doll fans and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. Today I have a doll unboxing. I have this massive Disney princess. Uh, wait, wait. No, it's not Disney princess. It's Diversity Pretty. <laughs> Diversity Pretty doll set. This is a fake Disney princess doll set. I saw this in a shop near my house and I thought it might be quite fun to unbox it and kind of, and laugh at how they've kind of twisted the Disney princesses to make sure that they're not in breach of copyright infringement. Although, to be honest, I, I feel like if Disney found out about this doll set, they probably wouldn't be happy because this definitely is stealing the Disney princess likeness. I have made a whole series of videos about fake dolls and unboxing fake dolls, and it's always a bit of a wild ride, so if you want to watch more of those videos, I'll put a link in the description to the playlist and a link on the screen. I just want to first of all say that I have absolutely no judgement towards people that buy the cheaper, fake versions of dolls for their kids. Um, you know, not everyone can afford the premium price of dolls these days. Um, but I have to say that this set was £25, which is not that cheap. And it's actually on sale. It was originally £50. Although I have a theory that it was probably never £50 and they just stuck the sticker on to make it seem like you're getting a deal. But £25 for this set is definitely too much, especially because the quality is not looking great. But anyway, let's have a closer look at the box and then I will open these dolls and we can have a closer look at the dolls. Okay, first of all, this is not actually the Disney Princesses. Even though it has the exact same font as the Disney Princess logo, this is Diversity Pretty. And then here it says, Fashion Baby Make Your World More Wonderful. Fashion Baby? And then on the side we have these really badly photoshopped images of the Disney princesses. This one looks like Aurora's dress and body photoshopped onto a picture of Barbie's face. That's what it looks like to me. But this is definitely just the uh, stock image they often use at Disney for Aurora. You can get a better look at these photoshopped images on the back here. And this one is, I think, the most creepy. This is obviously Cinderella's body, and they've awkwardly photoshopped another illustration of some random woman on top of her. They've done the same over here with uh, Belle. This honestly feels like Invasion of the Body Snatchers or something, like Leatherface has like stolen their faces or something. It's very bizarre. And then here we have the same weird fashion baby quote. And then on this side it says, the new mainstream products, beautiful fashion, bring you feel different. The new mainstream products, beautiful fashion, bring you feel different. What? <laughs> what? That makes no sense. I mean, clearly whoever made these dolls, English is not their first language, and, you know, I can't speak any other languages, so no judgement here, but it is quite funny to see how badly translated these quotes have been. It does have a cute little handle at the top here, we love that. On the bottom here it says, not suitable for children unfa, with an F instead of a D, 36 months, as this product contains small pieces which may present a choking hazard. <laughs> love the spelling mistake in there. So there we have the box, now I'm gonna take them out of the box and we can have a closer look at these dolls. Ooh. Wow. Don't they look stunning? I love them. Oh, oh. All the shoes are falling everywhere. <laughs> the good thing about these cheap dolls is uh, they're always really easy to take them out of the box. I just want to point out that at the back of the box they have all these pictures of the princess's castles and then this one <laughs> of Cinderella's carriage has been like badly photoshopped together. There's like the carriage here and then the other half of it is up here. I just thought that was quite funny. Okay, first of all, let's have a look at the one that started it all. This is, I think, meant to be Snow White. Her face is actually really cute. I like her face. I think it's adorable. I think they've stolen this face sculpt from one of the old uh, Mattel Disney dolls. As per usual, if you take off her ponytail, 
She is completely bald underneath. <laughs> now she looks like Friar Tuck or something. She looks like one of the wise old men. And yeah, as you can see, completely bald. But we can just hide that, there you go. No one has to know. And then she has this extremely cheap dress. Like, the material literally feels like paper. But it does have printed on this cute little, like, Bambi deer print on it. The colours are correct. She has what looks like one of the Barbie bodies. And then I think one of my favourite features about this doll is that her shoes don't match. <laughs> They're actually ever so slightly different. As you can see, these are not the same pair of shoes. And then her legs. What on earth is going on with her legs? These literally look like little pencils. They're terrifying. Oh my goodness. But they do have a bend in them, like the old Barbie dolls used to, which is kind of amazing. Yeah, when you put up her skirt, she actually looks like something from one of my nightmares. Okay, and next up we have Ariel, and she is looking stunning. Again, she has a stolen face mold, I'm pretty sure. Um, again, she's bald. She has printed on her dress loads of, like, seahorses and stuff. These dolls do kind of remind me of the old Simba dolls as well. I'm not sure if you guys remember those. We also have Cinderella here, and I'm not sure what's wrong with her face, but it doesn't look quite right to me. I don't know why. I think her mouth is just a little bit too low. All of these dolls have actually, like, quite nice quality hair, except for the fact that they're bald. And they all have it styled in the exact same way, it's just up in a ponytail. Probably to hide their bald patch, makes sense. She's pretty cute. Again, her dress is exactly the same as the other two, just in a slightly different colour. Next up we have Belle, or, you know, Belle's, like, evil twin. And she's really cute, except her dress is, like, stuck to her leg on the inside. I'm not sure if you can see that, doll fans, but there is literally, like, some gum on the inside of her dress. It might be glue, but it looks like gum. That's really gross. But other than the, like, gum or glue inside her dress, she's, like, a fine doll. Okay, and next up we have Rapunzel, or, like, Rapunzel's understudy. This one's kind of interesting because on one side her hair comes down, like, a little bit too far, and she's got, like, a bit of a sideburn. Like, I'm not sure if you can see that, but, like, they've rooted her hair, like, much further down than they've done on the other side. I thought that was quite funny. She's got a little sideburn. And these dolls have all the normal, like, articulation. Also, like, two sides of her body are, like, coming apart. But it's fine, we can ignore that. Her dress is probably my least favourite. The images they've printed on the side look like they've been elongated. They've been, like, stretched out to fit the material. Okay, and last but not least, we have Aurora. And her hair is a lot darker than it usually is. Like, she's got kind of, like, strawberry blonde hair. This one, again, has, like, some glue inside the dress. I have to, like, pull it apart. It's very sticky and gross. I don't know why it's like that. Again, she is completely bald on the inside. Poor thing. I mean... <laughs> it looks kind of funny, though. <laughs> she has some rose thorns printed on the dress. And she has the standard creepily thin legs. Okay, so there we have it, doll fans. I opened these hilarious fake Disney princess dolls. Well, not Disney princess, diversity pretty dolls. They actually weren't too bad, you know. I've definitely seen worse. If you want to see the rest of my fake doll unboxing videos, please don't forget to check out the playlist. I'll put a link in the description. Also, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And check me out on Instagram and TikTok. And I will see you real soon, doll fans. Bye! <laughs>